So we are converting the backyard into a podcast set for all of our podcasting purposes. And since, you know, we're going with the Islander theme, we want to make sure that we have some nice custom tiki's. And it couldn't just be any old custom tiki's. No, they had to be SD crafted. So I called my bro, Jason Palapoy Manga, a Samoan High Chief, an Army War veteran, and he's created an amazing therapy driven brand called broken warrior designs and yo between him and san diego urban timber that's right down here off bay boulevard and chula vista we got these two five foot beauties hand carved right here in my own backyard at a reclaimed redwood from balboa park now i don't know how to make your dream come true but what i've learned is there's power in words That's my man, Jay Manga, who recently retired to Florida with his ridiculously beautiful family. So when he said he was flying out to San Diego to do some carving, I couldn't wait to catch up. But first thing first, I had to get the 411 on Broken Warrior Designs. Broken Warrior Designs, man, what's a broken warrior? I, you know, for, for a lot of years, I was a broken warrior. Uh, I, I'm still a warrior. I'll always be a warrior. Um, broken as in if you take this glass and I break it and I glue it back together you're still going to see the cracks and that's kind of how my artwork is you still see some cracks in it I, and I I don't even like calling myself an artist I'm more of a creationist I like to see something and then make it um, and whether it's fixing something at home or trying to do something myself before I contract it out SD you know, crafted you learn a lot of lessons here crafted crafted SD crafted crafted and you crafted mm-hmm. yeah. and uh so I, I, you know, not perfect. My art's not perfect, but uh, I felt I was a broken warrior. Still am. It's like a, it's like an everyday thing. Um, and I, I found that getting into this artwork, um, I get into my own mind where I'm just, I'm constantly like training myself, telling myself, "Oh, do that." Dude, I'm talking to myself in, in internally, of course. And I found that it was a way that I could escape, but yet at the same time convey, you know, uh, in those faces, sometimes like my anger or, or my silliness or um, my hurt. And, and I just spend that time in, in the zone and I just get, I get in the zone and once you start going, man. They don't know your pain, they don't know your passion. So that's Broken Warrior Designs in a nutshell. And at this point, I'm like, what do you need from me? He's like, wood. Three calls later, I'm on the phone with Jess from San Diego Urban Timber. She's like, come on down. We're like, on the way. And wouldn't you know it, right in our own backyard. San Diego Urban Timber is an amazing company that's dedicated to making striking furniture from fallen trees and demolished wood from right here in our own community. They're literally giving these trees a second life and each of them has their own individual story to tell. Now I thought my biggest problem was going to be finding wood. Turns out, thanks to San Diego Urban Timber, my biggest problem is narrowing down the selection. That's beautiful. So they have a huge industrial bandsaw that's that uh I don't maybe maybe they're uh giving them a way for piece of rice. You know like I could still carve these. Yeah. Than they still need some trimming and cutting. See how these cracks run in them? Yeah. So then you would have cracks. That would kind of mess the carve up a little bit? Yeah, I mean, depends. It gets kind of a natural. 
ideally to get these that are greener would be better. You want to go check out what he's talking about? What? What he's talking about? Yeah. Want to go take a look or you got time for that right now or what? Excitement was kicking in, and after a quick stop at Swagoo and PB, you guessed it, it was back to work. What would you actually like if you were if it was your choice if, and you if, wanted to if throw I up, had the perfect wood yes, that I exactly. could use, koa wood. Koa wood. Koa? Yeah. Koa wood. wood because it's and I haven't had a chance to carve it. One, uh -huh. it's so expensive. Two, uh -huh. is only in Hawaii. Oh, okay. And so you gotta import that stuff over. Uh -huh. But if you ever go to Hawaii and you see the koa wood, and then they have a fake koa wood called monkey wood. Mm -hmm. in the islands and I would like to use those because it's not super soft and it's not super hard but you can't use like I mean you can use oak but that oak splits oak is super hard you know um, so how does redwood compare to oak oh, redwood is a lot softer redwood, yeah redwood was a lot softer very easy to work with it's a good uh, it's a good medium to work with yeah. yeah so I like it I now I now it's kind of nice because if when I come back out here I'm going to try a couple different things that I'm thinking like because I get asked by the restaurants a lot uh, for tiki's to hang on the mm -hmm. wall, mm -hmm. so you got to have that flat backside. Yeah. So curve. Yeah. So I, I I might be able to get them to mill it, and um, the this place that that we found, which I totally believe in their mission. This is what I do in in Florida. Is I I reclaim wood that people are throwing away, uh, and that's how I I told my wife I'm gonna go art shop and I go drive around the neighborhoods and I, I see all these trees that people cut down or whatever and I'm I've stopped coming home from a nice five star dinner before in my in my tie and everything, getting <laughs> wood on the you side of the nice road of and my wife's yeah. tripping out. But um I try to reclaim that stuff. This was reclaimed from one of the fires. I think uh my friend's an environmentalist and he he grabbed a few of them and this was had a lot of black soot on it. I had to, you know, clean off to see if it was even palatable. So I like using all types of stuff. I think that's part of the adventure for me mm -hmm. is to see what I could do. Now I have to second that emotion because I as well can't wait to see what you can do. A what chainsaw you with a 10 inch blade but it's a it's a carver tip so it's very thin it's a dime tip is what they call it and then uh so i use steel chainsaws i have several i have about four of them uh, 
depending on how big the cuts are and how big the wood is. But then a lot of the work is done with that grinder, that four and a half inch grinder with the okay. with the fiberglass uh, or ceramic I pad you're on you're it. You're doing the intricate cuts, right? right? Because it's light. So I've learned how to use that a couple different ways: how to score it, how to uh, sand it down. It's like a 36 grit that I start with. Uh, 36 and 50 is pretty much all you all you need um, for these and that really takes a lot down then I have like a die tool yes. so there was one thing uh, that I was able to do and I've done it with a couple people a couple vets and they've asked me about it like when I've had an art show or something and I, and I said hey look you want to you want to carve your own tiki I'll help you and so they'll come over and they'll buy the wood or uh -huh. something from me and pay for my time and we'll go through it I'll teach them how to do it with a with the chainsaw and the grinder and, and and then let them do it so now you're sharing the therapy so now i'm sharing the therapy mm -hmm. and so that was kind of the original thought process i dedicated to the broken hearted life and death back and forth like it's a game of who can throw the farthest your life and death from all the overcharging heavy door closed in the open market that's the hardest darkness you grind disrespected i see you and me and that's the reason i am this reflective Seems your path that took you everywhere but there And now you out of fucks to give And every day you take too much to live I don't know your story, but I know the pain Don't let your being be in vain, beloved And you're doing that because of why again? So, when I go back on it I can see things that I might have missed Because yeah. it makes it pop more Yeah. Because I have to go back and sand it anyway So like this See how I'm getting it all over it? Yeah. But that's the way I get inside And then I come back and, and uh, take the black off. So it basically helps you fine tune it a little bit. So it, it makes it pop more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. You start really seeing what it's going to be. Yeah. This is his Ohana. So that's Dave, that's Tierra, and there's Dave's wife right here, Marie. And that's, that's the, that's the pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think they're doing it like orange or something. I'm surprised you didn't eat strawberry, you, you didn't uh, uh, put strawberries on it because you have strawberry lips. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, baby. And here we B. Man, I'm so excited we were able to get this done. Thank you, Jay Monga at Broken Warrior Designs. Shout out to Urban Timber. And uh, he'll be back out in the event that you guys want something like this done for yourself. All you got to do is hit me up. All the information is below. And don't forget, like, subscribe, tell. And by all means, don't forget to click that bell. It's KV Davey, and you know how we do. Keep it cavey, baby. <sighs> now, I don't know how to make your dream come true. But what I've learned is there's power in words.